Hey guys, Peter here, aka Peter Freak Out 10 back again for another movie review. Um, I'm sorry I haven't did any videos in a week. That's because I've been busy with school and I've been busy with New Year's and I've been doing homework and I just had the science test coming up. But once summer comes back again, I'll be back to posting more videos. So, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Anyway, before I start this video, I just want to remind everyone that I had my birthday this week and I had a really good birthday got some really cool stuff and I'll be sure to look at that stuff and review it for you guys and tell you guys what I got for my birthday and I want to thank those people on Facebook who have wished me a happy birthday and I could have been more happy to say thank you for all those happy birthday wishes you've given me anyway on to the review um, Today I'm going to be reviewing one of the movies I got for Christmas, and it's one of my favorite movies, and I don't know why I like this film. There's just something about it that I really like. It's just... I'll just skip to the title now. Robert Dangerfield. Now, as you can tell by the title, Dangerfield, it stars Rodney Dangerfield playing himself, only his name is Robert, and he's a dog. You can't, if you can believe that. Anyway, as, as I said, it stars Ronnie Dangerfield, Susan Boyd, Ned Luke, Sean Southwick, and Sal Landai, who I know nothing about. If you guys know anything about him, just please comment to me. Anyway, basically the main plot is about Rover, played by Ronnie Dangerfield, as I said, who is a basset hound that lives in Las Vegas and cares for living in the town and... I mean, cares for living in the town more than anything else in the world. Uh, and when I said I and care, and I mean cares for it, I meant he cares for it a lot. However, one night, Rover ends up ruining a deal with a drug dealer who is the boyfriend of Rover's owner, Connie. So on a business trip, Rocky, who was played by Sal Landai, ends up throwing Rover off the Hoover Dam in a fit of rage, but instead of drowning, he wakes up on a farm. So now Rover decides he's going to adjust to life on the farm until Connie finds him. However, while on the farm, Rover falls hard for a dog named Daisy, who is played by Susan Boyd, who is very caring and helps Rover survive on the farm. So now Rover is going to have to make a choice whether he should go back to Las Vegas or stay on the farm and marry Daisy. It's a really good movie. I don't know why a lot of people have to mock it. It's just a fun movie. I like the relationship between Rover and Daisy. I thought it was a really cute relationship. I, I just like the fact that Roddy Dangerfield can do a good job making an animated film like this. Because he had everything to do with this movie. He was the producer, he had the screenplay, he came up with the idea. He even wrote the story with his pal Harold Ramis, what the Nostalgia Critic said. And plus, the Nostalgia Critic has been making fun of this movie. He made fun of it last year, obviously, as you know. If you don't know, check out his channel. But, even though the Nostalgia Critic is funny and that's his opinion, my opinion is, I like the film. It's just a really funny movie. I mean, you if you could tell, um, it's Ronnie Dangerfield's skits he's using in an animated film. And it's just, I don't know, it just helped the movie base it on, based it on him. It just reminded me of Ronnie. It's just something that Ronnie Dangerfield would like to do. And it's just, in my opinion, it's a must watch. It definitely deserves to be in the hands of... Anybody who likes Rodney Dangerfield. It's just a funny movie. If you like Caddyshack or Easy Money or Back to School, you'll like Rover Dangerfield. I mean it. And I have to agree with Byron has it, Sass, what he said about the Pound Puppies movie. Um, you're not going to respect expect perfection for every movie you see. I mean, every movie's not going to be perfect. I mean, just because all the Disney films back then were perfect, that doesn't mean you're going to have perfection today. Even the critics should know that by now. But what I'm saying, but what he said, and this is what he said also, and just because all of this is characters annoying, that doesn't mean it's not a good movie or the characters are not fully developed. 
But I'm going to agree with Byro Sass on it, every single thing he said about the Pound Puppy movie. And this. It's just a good movie. And he said the same thing because he lives in a country. And the, the nostalgia critic really made fun of this movie. I don't see why he should make fun of this. It's just a fun movie. And all in all, this movie deserves two thumbs up. Please rate and comment and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. And rest in peace, Rodney Dangerfield. I, you were a great comedian. Bye.